Um, Assalamu alaikum, my dear friends and ma'am. I hope all of you are doing well during this lockdown. And today I'll be explaining you about our group project, which is a vending machine. This program is about to stimulate a soft drink. And as you know, that to do this program, we had to use several techniques like selection, reputation, function, array, file input, and output, and struct, etc. So let me cut to the chase and show you how we did it, did it to Dev C++. So here is our input and all the codes that were necessary to run the program. Okay, so let me execute the file and show you how it's made. Sorry, it's on another window. Uh, here it is. As you can see, uh, two options came. That select one is to buy a drink as a POV customer, or press two for authorized matter, which is for the vendor. And since I'm here to buy a drink, so I'm going to select one and I'm going to press one. So here you go. Now, as you can see, there are 13 different types of drinks present here, and each of them, like one. Well, not all of them are of the same price, but one costs like 1.5, one costs like 2.0, and the other is like 2.5, 2.5. So, you <coughs> sorry. So, as you can see, there are 30 types of drinks, and the quantity for each of the drink is 10. So, suppose I'm going to drink strawberry. So, for that, I'll have to press 3. As you can see, they're asking me out again, just to make sure if I really want the strawberry or I want to select something else. So, okay, I'll go with strawberry, so I'm going to press Y. Okay, so I have bought strawberry and I have to pay 1.5 cents. And as you can see, there's a note over there where this machine does not accept any negative value at any amount that's greater than 3 three cents so this means like if I actually pay them more than three cents three point oh cents for example like four point oh cents or five point oh cents it won't take it so therefore you'll have to put amount that's lesser than three point oh cents in order to buy the drink okay suppose I put uh, two point oh cents over here Alright, so I have successfully bought my drink and got my change, which is 0 0.5 cents. And so now we're going to press any key to continue. Alright, so as you can see how our vending machine works, but along with the pros and cons, our vending machine do have a weakness. And the weakness is the vending machine could only restock 10 for all the drinks, as you have already saw that there are 10 for each type of drinks the quantity is 10 for each type of drinks so <coughs> sorry again uh, the vendor cannot choose the specific kinds of drink to restock and have to restock every drink that lower than 10 in the data so therefore the customer can only choose one drink per order so if they want to buy another drink they'll have to go through the method again and also once the amount finishes suppose i have bought all the nine strawberries that are remaining okay wait let me execute the file again and show you as you can see since i have bought the strawberry a few seconds ago and there are only remaining nine of them so if i bought the remaining nine strawberries in the same way again and again and once all of them finishes, I cannot buy strawberry again. There is no options for the restock. So, and again, I'll have to do the same process again and again just to buy another drink. That is one of our cons for the vending machine. So, suppose I'm going to buy Pepsi right now. So, I'm going to press 6 here, going through the same method as before. And so, this time I'm going to pay exactly 1.50 cents. Here, 
I have successfully bought my drink and I I don't have any change because I exactly paid the same amount as the price of that product so press any key to continue all right now so this is like one of our faults in our program that has been bugging us off and as you can see so anyways we also made a flowchart for our program which is right here as you can see how, this is the, the basic diagram of how our vending machine works suppose here you go with the vendor and the customer and this is how we restock or not the thing works our this, the spare amount that needed to key in with the amount etc and others so Anyways, this is so far our vending machine and but lastly there are indeed many ways that the program could be improved we could improve the program by allowing the vendor to choose which drinks to restock and what amounts uh, for instance the vendor could add the amounts of best seller drink higher than others so it will not run out quickly in addition we could also add choices for the customer to buy more than one drink at a time Therefore, the customer don't have to run the program many times. So we hope this program be a convenience for the customer and vendor. Uh, with that, we concluded our project. Thank you very much.